Hello everyone, welcome back to The Curated Chef. You're joining me on a frosty cold evening in Brussels. It's zero Celsius. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's a little bit nippy. Um, welcome to new subscribers. Welcome to those who are knowing me. This is The Curated Chef in Brussels. Yes, you're joining me for a spontaneous kind of like unwrapping, unboxing. I know I've been a bit quiet on this channel. So um, first of all, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been bearing with me. I am going through a rethinking of what I'll be doing here. So there is some announcements that will be coming at some point. Um, I'm still working things through. So bear with me in that sense. That's why I'm quiet. That's why I'm not saying much because it's a process I'm going through. But in the meantime, if you're still sticking around and if you're watching here, thank you so much. So now I had the request because I'd opened up the, the wisdom of the shadow. Yeah, let me just grab it actually, it's right behind me. Because I'd opened this up on my channel before Christmas as I was doing the whole Yule unboxing um, tag, I thought, you know, because somebody requested that, I've got the twin of this oracle and somebody had requested, please could you unbox that too on camera, you know, like they were interested. So I can't remember whose comment it was, but you know, thanks for the suggestion and yes, of course, I will unbox it because I do want to actually look at the other ones. So I was like, hmm, time to unwrap. And I thought, well, if I'm going to unwrap it, I might as well do it on camera. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. So I will be unboxing. I think this is the twin. So yes, as some of you already know me, I have some decks that I bought for my birthday and Christmas, 2022, even 2021. <laughs> but I never opened them. So I'm kind of like going through a weird... I'm discovering what's in there. There is also another another one that I'm gonna be unboxing as well. So there you go, find out with me. Isn't this fun? <laughs> so yeah, so um I think this is I think this is the word wisdom deck. So how's everybody been? Um is it summertime where you are? I know some of you in the southern hemisphere, maybe it's southern summertime. In the Northern Hemisphere, we, it is getting lighter. Thank you. But, you know, it is nippy, but it's okay. It's it's not as cold as I thought. You know, some years we've been really cold. This year it's not so bad, so it's okay. Um, yeah, and you know, apart from the fact that we're all going through a, a food <laughs> crisis and a, a gas and electricity crisis, gas mostly, um, apart from that, all is well. Um, so yeah. You know, but we do have little joys, right? I think that's really important, little joys in life. So yes, I got it right. This is Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. And I've just realized I don't have my scissors with me, but I think I should be able to get into it with my nails. So there you go. I need to just keep a pair of scissors like handy on the shelf, because I think that would just be better. But anyway, um, and yeah, I do need to switch over things on the shelf because we are going towards mid, well, it's midwinter. So yeah, um, I love in bulk. Is anybody else a huge fan of it? I love it. I love 1st of February. I just like, I'm somebody that's like a real, every year increasingly, I just love the, the Wiccan um, Sabbaths. I just love them. I think I naturally have always fallen into that kind of like rhythm of life and celebrations and then the more you know Wiccan um approaches have become popular the more they feel like home that's th that's it that's where I'm home basically so um yeah I love in bulk I love that time of year um and just celebrating you know the the light that comes into the northern hemisphere I think when I was living in the Middle East and then when I've been when I've been living in India the times I've been living in India I think that's the one of the things that was really difficult for me was that fact that when we go from like um, daytime to nighttime there's hardly any twilight it's just so quick you know the the like I've I've seen sunsets in India and I'm like wow beautiful and then five minutes later I'm like Oh, that, well, that was it. We're done now. And um, and so that's something that I really like in the Northern Hemisphere. It's our twilight. But the other part of it, which I do like when I'm in India, is that, you know, when, we, when it rains and we have the monsoons and before the monsoons, we have this beautiful spectacle of lightning that happens for like in the weeks before, um, especially where I come from, where my family comes from. It's very dry, dry plains. And, um, and you can see this, this, 
this lightning happening across the land. It's just, it's amazing. It's marvelous. And um, this year, probably I will be making a trip. So maybe, you know, I can give you some more flavors of where I come from, where my family comes from in that sense. So yeah, um, so here it is. Here is the deck, Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. Oracle for heart-centered embodiment and wholeness. That's a bit of plastic still there. Ooh, hold on a second. Okay, so um, about the authors. Artist and workshop facilitator Jenny Han captures the inward journey and inspires wisdom through her heartfelt paintings. Author, priestess and energy alchemist Jessica Ricchetti, 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 weaves sacred transmissions inviting deep inner reflection. Okay, so this is an indie deck, as I understand. Um, Oracle for Heart-Centered Embodiment and Wholeheartedness. I bought this one from, I think this one came from Tarot NL. Welcome, dear one. It says, sorry. So here it is. It's magnetic. And I'm just going to read the inscription that's on the inside here. It says, Welcome, dear one. Within you lives a boundless potential to support the greatest expression of your desires. With an open heart and trust in your path, it is time to more deeply embrace your beautiful wholeness and fully embody the wisdom of the divine feminine. Okay. Honestly speaking, I bought this. I actually bought the two because of this one. And I remember I saw Wisdom of the Divine Feminine on um, Liz's channel, Liz's West Star Tarot. I saw her show this and I was like, oh, I want this now. So yeah so now it says here um it's not the same thing as box okay so it's 44 cards and it says this oracle is an invitation to remember the timeless ancient wisdom swirling within our hearts it's time for each of us to fully embody our role in the rise of the divine feminine only you have the sovereign power to create change in your life and in the world around you these pages hold keys to unlock wi hidden wisdom within you to amplify ease freedom and wholeness enter the mystery of the divine feminine and return home to your whole self oh this is lovely it's beautiful i really see how this deck will go with so many other decks i have so yeah really really actually already excited okay so first of all i just want to say as i so it's 44 cards and as i take them out i can already tell a beautiful craftsmanship quality i never like pulling the, the sleeve off this way sometimes because I feel like I'm going to damage the card accidentally so that's why you see me trying to peel it off at the back ideally I would use a pair of scissors but okay okay got that off okay so we do have this beautiful gold edging oh it's beautiful and I like it's not it's like a matte base it's not matte I don't know it's not that bling bling kind of gold it's lovely and coppery and these are the backs. Oh, that's gorgeous. Reminds me a little bit of that feeling when I get when I see the shimmering veil. So these are matte, but they're a silky finish. I don't feel like they're the rose petal finish. Tactile is so important. I don't know about all of you, but it's so important. I have, um, some of you might have already known from this channel that those of you follow me, I do have, um, uh, um, I do have a form of condition on my hands basically um, you know mixture of arthritis and other skin and, and skin issues and so therefore I found that sometimes gilding and certain decks are really painful but this I mean that's gorgeous I mean this is this is lovely smooth and this does not this is not going to be painful so that's good okay so let's go through this it says wholeness okay visions Oh, that's oh the art is just oh, so gorgeous trust yeah I this was the deck that I remember because Liz showed it and it's because Liz showed it I was like oh I want this actually sovereignty oh this this is a beautiful card I think this is one of the ones that made me um say yes I have to buy this and I really love how the dialogue today is going towards owning ourselves sacred union i don't know about everyone but for me i found in my self-development path you know initially many years ago it was so dominated by you know elders 
feeling that they could tell others how their development should be. And you know, I really, really come to believe that is just, it is just going to kill the voice within. And I believe we need to grow and encourage the voice within. So I'm all for increasing our empowerment from the inside, you know, um, sacred union, brightness. Hopefully I'm not skipping anything. Oh, no, they're stuck together. Hold on a second. Receiving. Rawness. So I don't know what kind of order they're in. Um, radiance. Presence. Power. Potential. Pleasure. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Passion. Mm, I like the fact that it's not all just body art. Passion. Nature. Oh, that's beautiful. Mystery. Oh, I like that. I like the fact that the bodies also are not just, you know, one body form. Let's just put it that way. Love. Oh, that's beautiful. Life force. Yeah, the colors are just stunning. Life force. Joy. There's something about her use of colors and shape that really is just striking. Intuition. Oh, I love this one. Introspection. Humility. Harmony, oh, that's beautiful. Grounding. Um, yeah, they're beautiful finish. Freedom. Flow, oh, these are, yeah, they're gonna go with so many decks I already have. Fierceness, yeah, this I love. Oh, I'm so glad we have these kind of keywords in decks these days. Instead of it always being the, I mean, I like gentle words, but you know, I like to show female in female emotions and feelings and behaviors and actions that just are fully, you know, capturing all areas of the strength of, of this of the spectrum. Fierceness, expression, encouragement. Embodiment, ease. Oh, I love this flow. Yeah, I can see this also, this deck will work all year round, I think. So I just want to make sure that I, yeah. Discernment. This is the, this is the card. This is the card that made me want this deck. Yeah, I love this. I know it sounds really strange, but I see myself in this in this card. This is the card that made me think, I've got to get this deck. And I remember now, I think I saw it on someone's, I don't know, maybe it was an Insta page or something. I don't know. Devotion. Cycles. Creation. Oh, that's beautiful. I just... I love how it's such clever artwork. Compassion. Yeah. Community. Collaboration. Blossoming. Sorry, hold on a second. This is this is sometimes a bit of a struggle with the hands. Sorry, embodiment, uh, blossoming. Sorry, and then it comes to beauty. And the last one I've got here is ah, oh, allies. Oh, that's gorgeous. I was looking at the crows today when I was out running. So yeah, that was that really full as well. So I've got a feeling that this deck has been designed, as I recall. 
that you could place it with the other deck and make one giant oracle if you wanted to not sure yet if i want to do that so i'm not going to do that right now okay so these had come with them shown backwards which is okay so they they're alphabetically backwards which is okay how does it shuffle very well it reminds me of the cardstock if anybody's wondering of um the claire map decks yeah it's it's satin smooth matte not rose petal which means it's very easy to shuffle actually and it doesn't stick in any way it doesn't clump i'm sure it'd be great for filming if you do have a youtube channel and you want to show it um just really good so beautiful deck we're stopping there on potential and um oh shall we do a guidebook entry i think we should do a guidebook entry quickly as well and i opened it and i've got fierceness here okay it had to be the card that I like. Um, okay, so fierceness, what does it say? And so the guidebook is alphabetical, clearly. So very, what's it got at the beginning? Okay, we have at the beginning, we have the introduction from the author, ideas for working with this oracle. We have contemplations, rituals, ways to amplify your rituals. Yeah, card spreads um yeah really yeah it's an it's it's a it's a really comprehensive guidebook basically so that's great so it says here fierceness art sacred rage and you get about a page and a bit more per what do you get now actually it's not pay yeah you get sorry you get two pages two full pages per card okay so let me see if i can find it again oh now i can't find fierceness that's interesting. I opened it and now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Fierceness. And it says here, I express my fierceness unapolog unapologetically. I fiercely own my fierce nature. I fearlessly own my fierce nature. I honour my holy ra rage. Oh, that's great. I honour my holy rage. I love that. Spewing flames of truth, burning sacred heart, squatting into the seat of fierceness. Holy rage is rising, the embodiment of love, mama bear invoked, protecting the ones who stand behind this verity, compassionate, unabashed, unafraid, unapologetic. If it has been unclear before, let it be clear now. The divine feminine is here in all her forms, raw and true. She stands with truth, expression, rage and fierceness. Her love is unyielding and will be expressed in any way she wishes. This sacred fire is not a shadow aspect, something to shun or something to make nice of. She's not here to be pretty or package things to be palatable. She has been called bitch as the kind of, of the discrediting labels. She wears the title with honor and pride, know, knowing it is on purpose. This fierceness flows unapologetically in the most holy of expressions. I really like this because it doesn't make, um, it doesn't nice wash um, this energy, which I like. Um, so it goes on, I'll go into contemplations now. Where am I being called to express my unabashed fierceness? When I express fiercely, how do I stay rooted in love? What fierceness have I held back? Why did I hold it back? And then it gives you a ritual. So those were kind of like prompts. I think they'd be great journaling prompts, ritual. Allow yourself to embody the most fierce expression of truth or rage, anger, in a flame that you can possibly muster. Light a candle or flame, gaze into it. Think about it, what ignites or intensifies your inner flames and get you fired up. Embody the energy of the image of the, this card, the stance of fierceness and spewing sacred truth. So yeah, it's really like, it's, it's a deck that's got some real meat on how to work with it, which I think is amazing. I think always welcome. And, um, and you know, it's just... There's so much in each detail of each of the cards. You know, you would really be sitting there for some time. You know, look at this one with freedom. And really just having to look at like, you know, what am I tapping into here? What part of the image is drawing me? Um, so yeah, I think it's a great deck. Um, I'm a bit worried these days about nudity actually, so I've got to be careful here. But collaboration, I can show that. It's just, it's a great deck. And I think that, 
This will be amazing standalone on your altar as part of journal work and as a clarifier in a reading. I think it can really do great as a clarifier too or accompanying a spread, a tarot spread. But I think this is also a great altar um, deck and amazing to work with other oracles. So yeah, I really love this. I think there's just so much in here. And I think it's really amazing because it's really working with energies that for me really tap into the female spirit, the female soul, when we're well into our 20s, into our 30s, our 40s, 50s, you know, really like when we've come out of that younger aspect, which is a very important part of my life, by the way, my teenage years are some of my like most important parts of my life. I'm really looking at them deeply right now. But, you know, I also want to remember that, you know, there is so much once we come out of the juvenile phase, you know, once we're past 25 into our 30s, there's a lot of um, life building and character building then as well. And I really believe that this deck for me is tapping very much into that um, towards the mother energy, um, coming out of the maiden and more into the mother energy and then the guardian, I think for me, all I can say is for me. And, um, you know, and so if you're someone that's looking to work as those issues, however you identify, if you're looking at, if you're looking at how to work with those issues, I also believe this is a great deck. I also believe this is a great deck for me personally. Um, you know, if you've, if you've had any kind of in the past, um, abuse, abuse, um, not just physical, but emotional, mental, um, you're looking at any form of attack on power. I really want to say that word actually, attack on female power. This deck, you know, I feel, feel for me is really going to be a great one. I can, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've just un unveiled, un un unveiled. I've just unboxed it with you all on camera, but just my first initial impressions are that this deck is just going to be amazing to look at um, reclaiming the power if one has gone through that attack on their feminine um, aspects. Um, and I think that that is really, really amazing. I say this, and as I'm saying this, I'm thinking to myself, and would it be interesting just the same with the Divine Masculine? Because I do believe that there is much to discover and explore there as well. So, um, yeah, I think we're really at the beginning of um, honoring our energies. And, um, and yeah, and just, you know, the, for me, cards allow space, um, which which is different when it's literature, right? It's different when it's literature or a, a public speaker or something. And then we go into um, visual imagery. So yeah, so I'm really glad actually that I opened this deck and I'm now trying to put it back in its box and it's a bit of a pickle. Um, but yeah, I, I really um, think I'm gonna enjoy this deck. So yeah, glad I got it. And, um, and do I think I need both? Personally, I like both of them, so I'm happy to have both. Maybe for some, one is enough. I think there's plenty of videos out there that do side by side. Perhaps for some, one is enough. For me, I'm really actually looking forward to working with both. I think that there's much, much to discover um, there. It's very meaty. So, 23 minutes in, but I'm going to keep going because there is another deck and I really, really unbox it but I'm just thinking maybe for everyone's sake I will do two videos so I'm going to stop this one do a pause have a glass of water and then unbox the next one so I'll be back okay thank you for watching take care now bye